hello guys uh, welcome to analytics spark channel so i basically have started learning spark hadoop but the only problem that i face is in the system that i have currently is not up to the mark so you know this the, the, my system is quite slow it's just 8 gb of ram and while dealing with hadoop or spark based system the more ram you have the better is it is right so for this purpose i came across uh, you know uh, hortonworks uh, Azure system so this is basically a one month free trial uh, without any cost and uh, it gives you $200 credit so you can use this $200 credit now this is basically divided into two systems the first is the cloud machine the virtual machine that is given by Microsoft Azure and the Hortonworks sandbox system so Hortonworks sandbox is just basically a sandbox which contains all the systems such as Spark, uh, Hive, HDFS uh, Kafka, Spark and all those systems. So we'll see uh, how to set up this without any cost. So I just Google Hortonworks in Azure and the first link that came on to this link is with this. So basically you know this is the tutorial or this is the sequence of steps that they have given. Uh, the first uh, thing that we have to do is basically we have to you know go here and uh, you would have to obviously create account so you know we have you have to create account start free and then you know you have to basically follow the process I think they will ask the email ID uh, they will ask uh, your uh, username the sector sector and they will also ask a credit card for verification purpose only I may uh, please uh, know that this is just a free trial account you won't be charged and as I said you'll get you'll be getting uh, $200 free credit and you can explore any of the as your services in those 30 days I will be just you know, using the uh, the virtual machine to run the sandbox machine and as I said basically uh, this is just a uh, just a, a, a free service you won't be charged so let you know I'll wait for a moment so that you know you can start free so I think once you do this uh, I'll get a different uh, screen because I'm already logged in through on this account so you have to sign up so when you I, I'm already signed up on this uh, website so you, I don't have to do it so like for example I have to see my existing subscriptions so this will take a time so while this is coming up again I want to emphasize that you won't be charged so please don't worry initially I was bit hesitant of joining this uh, free trial but then as soon as I learned uh, that it's a free trial uh, you know uh, I just basically did this so it says for example for my free trial we expire in 14 days so but you know it's still there so once uh, you 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 are done this you have to go to the portal.azure.com so as you can see it will sign up automatically for me uh, you, you, you might have to sign in Um, and you can see that I already have the two machines running here Cloudum and Cloudum 1 so, the, so and you know you can see that I have around 152 euros in credit so basically this is what as soon as you log in and verify through a credit card you will be automatically you know created where your account will all automatically be created with around 170 euros I don't know why they gave me in euros maybe something so I think it, it depends on, on the local uh, local place where you are. I'm currently in the US, so I don't know why it gave me in the euro. So the first place you have to go is to go to marketplace. When you go to marketplace, it uh, it will give you a search bar where we have to search hot and works. So it will give me will. Now we have multiple options. I'll go with Hortonworks Sandbox with HDP uh, 2.5. So this is something to read. I'll, I won't be reading. I just say create. So it will ask for some basic settings. So the this name has to be unique. Uh, so I'll say Cloud Demo 2. You can choose the type of disk. So either HDD or SSD. I'll say SSD is fine. You have to give the username that you'll be using and the password. 
so you you have to give a password to this as well and keep in mind this uh, password should be big enough otherwise it will give an error uh, the free trial is here and then uh, there is you know you can create any resource group that should be fine in the location i'm in the east us so i'll be uh, choosing that location only and then click okay so i will make this two uh, this two as well say okay so i think uh, we are good it will bring out a new uh, screen momentarily I don't know what problem that was so the next uh, thing is basically to choose what kind of machine we want so here are different options in front of us uh, and it will basically load the price settings for this so as we can see here this machine will cost around 35 euros per month if run whole the time so uh, we will see later that you only be charged per hour so a good thing to do is basically whatever machine you choose you you know after you your work is done you just shut it down so you won't be charged during that time only when the virtual machine is running you'll be charged so for the demonstration since i have around 152 dollars left i'll be using this machine or i'll be using this machine of 28 gb of data i i won't be running all the time so you know whichever machine you are free to choose any of these machine so i say i select this one and then i click on select and these are default options i won't be you know changing any of that i say okay and these are the option these are the this you know the different uh, 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 op that uh, the description of this i say okay uh, and now this will basically give an option what i just talked before there are two um, parts of this the first is hortonworks data platform hdp for short uh, sandbox that is given for free i think by hortonworks and second is the virtual machine given by microsoft which will be charged as 0.2521 euros per hour as i said you will be only charged per hour so uh, you know you don't have to run your machine all the time and you will be charged all the, uh, for those hours so whenever the work is done just shut it down that's what i do so you know you can read all these terms and conditions uh, that's fine i say purchase and now what i'll do is basically it start deployment process so it will take some time uh, you know uh, it will take them some time what i will do is basically i'll pause this video and then as soon as this machine is, machine is launched i can then basically you know uh, uh, resume the video so hello guys uh, i'm back and uh, well, the as we can see the cloud demo tool the new machine is up and running so the first thing that we have to do is you know open some port connection otherwise you know when uh, connecting through ssh uh, it will be giving an error so <clears throat> that's what we are going to do now So we have to find this network security group and then we have to see this in one connection right now we can see that only port 22 is open which is good but we don't want that only we need to add so you can give any connection so you can say all you can see any priority is fine and the port is and the port number we will open is i think five five six three five this is the maximum that we can go and then we say okay allow and then okay so this is, is this created the security rule now anyone can connect to this machine as long as they have the username and password so we are good to go we will go back uh, go back to the virtual machine 
so as we can see this is running and when you have to stop this machine just uh, click on stop so this is the IP address of the machine what we need to do is basically you need to copy this IP and go to this and type 8080 and then do this and type 8888 uh, this might take some time uh, I have seen that uh, you know th this is basically the Ambari dashboard and this is uh, uh, the this Hortonworks uh, UI they have to just give some name and stuff and what it will do is basically it will give some platforms so yeah it's still not spun I think oh, it's ready so I'll just fill my details and that's it that should be fine uh, now you need to basically go to the advanced thing so you'll be getting much more of this and this is that money so the default username and password is this the same username and password this is raz, raz underscore ops click on sign in and this should basically load your ambari and this is everything uh, this is like hdfs on map reduce hive edge base peg scoop everything atlas kafka spark so these things don't worry about this plus sign this is uh, basically uh, uh, i think uh, the maintenance mode so you can basically turn off the maintenance mode and when you do that this will turn to natural green okay let's see what's the error okay it's a secondary name node has not started so when we click that basically you will find the secondary name node somewhere here and what we need to do is basically start it so you know in the same way you you can do for all of this same way you know and the next step is basically to connect to this machine to ssh because we'll be running all of this on uh, uh, here so what you need to do is basically the you need to use uh, query for that or you can use anything i am using query so and then you have to basically set up a connection uh, and then save this connection i'll save this connection uh, and then open it uh, it will save this thing so the first password will be hoop and then once you do that it will ask you to change the password so put the current password okay something happened let's try again okay it will ask a new password we end this account for sandbox so that's it guys i think uh, you know you have learned this thing thank you very much